May 1st, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. In order to foster a deep devotion to St. Joseph among Catholics, and in response to the May Day labor celebrations for workers sponsored by the Marxist communists, Pope Pius XII instituted the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker in 1955. This feast extends the long relationship between St. Joseph and the cause of workers in both Catholic faith and devotion. Beginning in the book of Genesis, the dignity of human work has long been celebrated as a participation in the creative work of God. By work, humankind fulfills both the command found in Genesis to care for the earth and to be productive in their labors. St. Joseph, the carpenter and the foster father of Jesus, is but one example of the holiness of human labor. Because if anyone ever glorified and dignified labor, St. Joseph did. Born a direct descendant of King David, he was of royal lineage, and thus a true claimant to the throne of Israel. Though through political circumstances in Israel at the time he lived, and by God's express will, he took up the honorable profession of carpenter and supported his holy spouse and adoptive divine son by work of his hands. It is safely surmised that Jesus worked alongside his foster father in his workshop at Nazareth, stamping his divine seal on the dignity of labor. Work is not only a duty, and thus character-building and dignifying, but also penitential. As Catholics, we look at the hardships and toil of work as something to be united to the suffering of the God-man, our Lord Jesus Christ, and thus to be rendered meritorious for ourselves and others. Therefore, St. Joseph is held up as a model of such work, St. Joseph, the silent saint, who was given the noble task of caring and watching over the Virgin Mary and Jesus, now cares for and watches over the church and models for all the dignity of human work.